Hello, my name is Gideon Ferber and in this video clip I'm going to talk about external controllers and the Morpho. Actually, by using CII protocol we can create our own custom-made controllers in order to control a specific scene we prepared in advance. In this specific clip I'm going to demonstrate a who wants to be millionaire graphics controlled by a custom-made controller that we made specifically for that scene. This is actually a Visual Basic application that sends CII command to the Morpho. So whenever I click a button, the appropriate CII command is sent and in this way triggering the event we want to, uh, to take place. So let me first demonstrate how it works and then I'll go over the different pages and show you how they were built. So in order to play that, we need to do two things. First of all, we need to make sure automation is enabled. And for more information about automation, please take a look at the playout clip explaining the different ways to trigger graphics to air from Morpho. And once the automation is enabled, we can actually play the scene to air, play the storyboard to air. So now we play the first page and now we can switch to our controller and trigger the rest of the events from here. So the first thing I want to do, I want to display the question and as you can see it triggers the graphics with the content to air. I want to display score and again it triggers the animation. Animation goes on air. Now the nice thing about it is that I can reuse those templates. So for example now I want to update the score. So score update and you can see the graphics changing accordingly. I want now to display the appropriate question. So again, display question. It triggered the same graphics, same template, but with a different content. So this is a very, very easy way to work and create your own dedicated controllers to control the scene. And the way the scene was built is very simple. We build the pages with the animation with the effects, with the timing and for more information about creation please look at the creation clip that covers all sorts of uh, creation methods in the Morpho. The only difference here is that instead of text that types the entire question in here we are using externals and external means that the Morpho is actually waiting for information from an external source. Now that can be from uh, MOS in protocol or it can be from CII protocol. In this specific case, since we are using the CII controller, this is the way it works. So wherever there is an external, the Morpho awaits the information from the external source. So that can be the questions and the answers. It can be also the different textures. So, for example, you can see here that each of the dots you saw before is actually a rectangle and the external here is the name of the texture. So, we can control the different textures through the CII from the external controller. So, either sending a transparent image when we don't need the texture or whatever type of texture that we want to fill the information in our scene. Now, the last thing which is very important in this case is that the Morpho can show you the log that contains all the information that was sent through the CII protocol from the external controller. So, for example, let's take a look at this row. W commands mean create a virtual page uh, called 108 based on the question template and these are the different names or the different strings sent to the externals in each of the different spaces. And then we loaded this page and then just play the same page to air. So it's quite simple and gives you a lot of flexibility when trying to control the scene and triggering the different graphics to air. Okay, that's it for now. As you saw, we can create our own custom-made controllers using CAI protocol in order to control the Morpho scenes. Well, I hope you found this clip useful. Thank you very much for your time.